Good afternoon and welcome to T4 that's Turbo Tortoise Tech Tutorial. In today's show, I will be showing you how to put a really nice colored braided cable into your glorious mouse product. Whether it's a D or an O or O minus, all of these will fit and they do come with the skates or new feet to be able to put those onto the bottom of the mouse when you're done. So everything will be pretty much brand new or better than. Alrighty, so let's get into it. This is the Model O here, and we're going to firstly have to remove the four feet. Easiest way to do this is with a scalpel, and you just sort of slice from the bottom left or right, and basically you're trying to get underneath the edge with as little damage to the mouse as humanly possible. This isn't a Shawshank Redemption. Key thing here is always to aim the, the knife away from your body, so you're never pushing towards yourself to avoid getting cut. But as you can see, once you get underneath there, it's very easy to remove. With all four removed, we just have two screws on the bottom that we then need to take out. Alrighty, then once the screws are released, you'll be able to pull up the shell. You do it from back to front. Just watch out for the ribbon cables that connect the LEDs at the back of the mouse. You'll need to pull on the little black header that you see over there on top of it upwards for it to release the cable so it's a little bit finicky but it's not impossible even with chunky sausage fingers and then once both are removed you'll have the mouse as it sits in front of you now you need to remove the cable that you see there on the top right with so that the new cable can obviously fit in as you can see they're practically identical internally so there's uh, no worries that it's not going to be able to work obviously in the mouse so what i'd like to do, what i like to do here for instance is just check everything make sure all the measurements and stuff all look good before i plug anything in and then connect it and work backwards to the, the little holder that you see on the top of the mouse there so that it holds the cable in nicely then we're going to close up the mouse starting from front to back again making sure that all cables and stuff are inside the mouse before we give it a good press to make sure it's in position and then add in the two screws Once those are in and finger tight, we do one last check to make sure everything is in position and then grab our new skates, which will come packaged with the new cable. As you can see, these are 3M, so they are the best of the best and they do stick very nicely. And if you are worried, it's quite easy to line them up inside of their little shells and holders before we stick them, but it's pretty much straightforward from that. Afterwards, do clear your surface area and give the mouse a little bit of a push into the mouse pad to make sure all those feet are stuck down nicely and you are ready to game, pretty much. And there you have it. This is one, two buckle my shoe and you've got a brand new, much prettier looking cable, I must say, with a little extra color flair. And like I say, this comes in multiple colors so you can actually customize it quite nicely. If you guys did like this, please hit us up with a like and subscribe. We'll be doing more tutorials in the future showing you how to do some basic RT stuff. Until next time, keep your lives ticking and your games wrecking. We'll see you on the flip side.